Hey, what's up guys? This is my end of the month uh, haul update, my December update. Uh, this is everything I got in the month of December. Um, it's actually less than I, I thought. I thought I got more than this, but looking over my uh, receipts and stuff and my, my posts and whatnot, this is all I got apparently. So I'm happy about that. That's great. Especially spots I spent so much on October. I'm still reeling from that. But uh, I figured I'd go over some of it. I've, I've done a couple videos on a couple of these, like I did a video for Silver Bullet, so I'm not going to go over that again. I did watch it since then, and I really did enjoy it. Although, well, I won't say. There's actually like a spoiler on here if you're paying attention, but like I didn't notice it at first. So, um, But I liked it a lot. I thought it was pretty cool. I haven't looked at all the special features yet, but uh, I liked some of the uh, the interviews I saw with um, uh, with uh, Everett McGill. I watched that one, and I watched a couple of special effects ones. But I thought it was pretty cool. It was, you know... There's better uh, werewolf films out there. I liked it. Um, and then, obviously, I already did the Twin Peaks one, which you can see here. I can open up again and see how cool that is. I still have the plastic thing in here because, you know, you got to do that. But um, I'm, not as, I'm not a huge fan of the packaging on this. I think it's it looks kind of cool, but it's kind of corny at the same time. Let's, this is kind of coming apart here. What the fuck is that shit? Look at that. I don't appreciate that. You've noticed that until this now, so. Anyway. But yeah, you can look at the video for that. I did a whole unboxing video for this, so I'm not going to go over that again. But uh, this is a very cool thing. To, I haven't actually gotten to look at this yet. I just kind of set it aside. But uh, I need to take a week. I actually had time. To have, over the weekend, I've got so much stuff I was watching. I didn't pull this out. But I think I'm going to wait till I have an extended period of time. Maybe over spring. I'll start watching this all over again. But Anyway, that was that. I got two 4Ks. I got Ad Astra, which I did watch, and I found, um, what would you say? I wouldn't want to call it boring, because boring doesn't sound right. The cinematography was excellent. I think the character that Brad Pitt played was very emotionless, and I, that was the point. Um, but it, it didn't resonate with me the same way I wanted. Uh, it was an interesting movie, definitely. But I might have to revisit it again at some point, because I think I was just not in the mood to watch a movie like this when I watched it. I would give it a, like a B, we're verging on a B plus right now. I think I need to watch it again, though. Maybe not in a different headspace, but I'd, I'd recommend giving it a shot. But, you know, I wasn't as into it when I watched it. And then Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, I watched this too. And I thought it was okay. It was not bad. I liked uh, Brad Pitt's character. I thought he did well. I think all three of them did well. Uh, Margot Robbie's Sharon Tate was excellent. Even though she wasn't in the film a whole lot, she was very good, I thought. And then Leo was great, but uh, it didn't. It didn't feel like a uh, Tarantino film to me. I don't know what that was about, but I, I thought it was. I thought it was pretty good. Again, I'd probably give it like a B plus, but um, not my favorite Tarantino film. It's, it was good. I need to watch it again though. Probably so much. I'll need to sit on it for a little while and then I'll watch it. But anyway, so yeah, and then I partook in the. Um, what was it called? This is actually from the Black Friday sale that that uh, WB shop had. Um, the four for forty one, oh, for, no, excuse me, four for forty four sale that I do once in a while. And my actually my shipment got lost in the mail, so it took a while to get it. But I finally did get it, and so I can show you what I got. I got Dolores Claiborne, which I've seen bits and pieces of this over my over time, but I've never seen the whole film. It's another Stephen King adaptation, but uh, it's pretty good from what I remember. Good acting from uh, Kathy Bates and Jefferson Lee. Lady Hawk, I have not seen. Um, it sounded interesting. Roger Hauer, Matthew Broderick, and Michelle Fiber. I thought it sounded... It's just an interesting story. You can pause that and read that if you want. I just thought it sounded like a very interesting uh, concept. But um, I figured I'd give it a shot. Uh, Michael Collins. I remember seeing this poster a lot when I was a kid in, in um, uh, movie stores. This is 1996. Because I guess I wasn't a kid, but I was, you know, like a young teenager. I remember seeing this post, this picture of Liam Neeson. On a th I, did, I thought it was a political thriller or something. I guess it sort of is, but I've never seen it, so I wouldn't know. Aiden Quinn, Stephen Rea, uh, Alan Rickman's in it, and Julie Roberts. Again, it sounded cool. You can read the synopsis here, but I'm not going to go into all this because I, I haven't seen them, so I don't know. And actually, they have special features, too, which will have these uh, Warner Archives don't. So there's that one, and then this one is a Coen Brothers film that I completely forgot about. The Hudsucker Proxy. 
Tim Robbins, Jennifer Jason Lee, and Paul Newman. Isn't Jennifer Jason Lee? I just read her name. Yeah, she's in North Cleveland. That's funny. I didn't even put that together. But anyway, I'd, I'd heard of this film. I've never seen it. Um, it sounded interesting. It's a comedy slash drama type thing. I don't know. What year is this, actually? Is this 1994, 90, looks like. Um, but it sounded interesting. I want to give it a shot. You can pause again and read that. But I haven't seen it, so I have no idea, again, how it is. And all the discs have the cover art on there, I think. What our archive is, it feels like, um... They're usually pretty basic. They, some of them don't have special features. This one looks like it had some special features. But uh, typically, they don't seem to. But, um... I'm trying to build that up a little bit, so I'm getting as many as I can when I can. I try to take advantage of that sale when it's on. And then finally, I got one, two, three, four, five uh, Vinegar Syndrome titles. I got Christmas Evil, although actually, technically, I just bought the slipcover. I already owned the film, but uh, I wanted to get the slipcover because I thought it looked pretty cool. The Night He Dropped In. This Christmas, you better believe in Santa or he'll slay you. <laughs> That's funny. I haven't seen this film yet. I've owned it for over a year, and I just I asked I was going to watch it last month, but then I got bogged down with other stuff I was doing. I watched a lot of TV this year. I actually watched way less movies than I expected to, but I just kind of took over. Uh, this one is called The Candy Snatchers. This one was one of the new ones, or the was it one? Yeah, one of the one of the special ones. This, this the the secret ones that uh, Vinegar Syndrome does every Black Friday. It was this one and um, this one, Spookies. I've heard of Spookies. I've never seen it, but I've heard of it. I've never heard of this one, Candy Snatchers. It sounds sort of interesting, like it's a like a torture slash like kidnapping thing, and it's just it's um it seems kind of creepy, but I haven't seen it, so I don't know. I love the slipcover though; it's a little embossed there too. But again, I can't speak to it though. Spookies: A Night of Ter Unrelenting Terror. This is the they, this one had two slipcovers. This is the second one, I think. The first one went out of print pretty quickly. Um, but I like this one a little better. And again, sorry, I can't really talk about these because I don't know anything about them. And there's no synopsis back here to read. But, uh, yeah. I put them in these cases after I get them because I want to keep them pristine if I, if I indeed have to sell them at some point. But I, I just like the cases, too, because it's better than... It's like when I get my steel books, I like to put these in cases. These are actually steel book cases that I use. They're about the same size. Um, it's just to keep them so they don't get dings and stuff because I think they're just, these are the nicest slip covers I've ever seen any, any company's ever done. They put a lot of effort and, mo and obviously money into these too because this is way, you know, a, a WB or Paramount are not going to do this because it's, they make a million copies. This, they only make 2,000 copies, so they can afford to do it and they sell them for, well, I guess around the same price as sometimes, but anyway, here's Spookies. I think it looks cool. I haven't ever, I've seen, well, I, and that's not true. I've never seen it, I don't think, but I've, I knew people who mentioned it. I've never seen it, though. Tammy and the T-Rex. Um, this one is just... I, I honestly don't know why I bought it. It's It's got Denise Richards and Paul Walker, and it sounds fucking weird as shit. And I wanted to experience that. I, 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 have, I have no idea if it's any good. I'm assuming it is not good. But it's like the first movie that these two were actually really in, or starring in or something, or it's Paul Walker and Denise Richards. I don't know. I'm, there, I'm rambling about it, I don't know. I thought it looked cool, and it's got a lenticular cover, which you can't see very well because it's in the plastic, but uh, I got it anyway. And then finally, this is one I've, I've wanted for a little while. This has been out for a few months, at least, um, from, like, the summer even. And it's called Play Dead. It's about a dog that goes around killing people. This, this is my understanding, anyway. Again, I haven't seen it, so I don't, you know, absolutely know. But I like the cover, I like the concept. And I wanted to watch it, and I wanted to get it while it's still in a slipcover. So, this was about seventeen bucks. I think the others were twenty-four or so, except for Christmas Evil. That was about nine or ten or something, I think. So, so yeah, that's everything I got in the month of December, which, like I said, seems like a lot less than it usual, but that's fine because you know, I've got to stop spending so much money on this crap, especially in movies that I haven't seen. And then a series that I've seen multiple times, but I just keep buying because it demands it. Um, so yeah, that's it. It's a smaller month. Um, I'm looking over here to see if there's anything I missed. I don't think so. No, those are all. I have a bunch of Black Friday stuff still sitting on my desk over here, but I've shown you what that already. So, so that's it, I guess, right now. Um, like I said, 
um, in my other video, I made the Joker one that you're probably seeing after this one. And uh, there's one other thing I'm getting um, later this week, or maybe next week, depends, um, whenever I get it. It's a big, big purchase that I was I, I was going to try to hold out on, but, you know, I just couldn't. I had a, I had a, an Amazon uh, gift card for Christmas and stuff, and I had some more money saved up that I could put towards it, and it ended up being on a little bit more sale than it was before, and I bought it anyway, so um, I guess you'll see. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and it should be fun. I guess that's it. Is that it? Yeah, I think that's it. I don't think anything else to show you. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you again with the other big unboxing I'm going to show you in a week or so, and then whatever else I get. So thanks for watching, and I will see you later. Bye.